Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. Microsoft is trying to annoy or to bother the users of Windows 11 on unsupported PC. I'm using Windows 11 on unsupported PC for months now and actually I've done videos regarding the performance of Windows 11 on unsupported PC and you can find the links for these videos on the description below. But Microsoft is trying to convince me that my PC does not meet the minimum hardware requirements recommended for Windows 11 and there may be issues and bugs that impact your performance or experience. I think that this notification is just to annoy us or to try to tell us that we may have bugs and issues. But of course, this is your risk if you decide to install Windows 11 on unsupported PC. But till now, actually, I haven't seen a bug that is related with the fact that I have installed Windows 11 on unsupported PC. If we talk regarding the updates, as we can see over here, I am up to date and I have installed also the latest version of Windows 11, which is Windows 11 22H2. And if you want to see these latest features of Windows 11, please find the link on the description below. So in the beginning, Microsoft was showing this notification at the right of the monitor over here, but now it is showing this notification when you go over Windows Update and if you are in the Windows Insider program, so we go over Windows Insider program, and once you are here, you will see this notification over here. If you want to see more, you just click over learn more, but actually it's not a very useful information. There is a trick that helps you to remove this notification or watermark by going over register editor, and then you go over current user, and then you go over control panel, and then you go over unsupported hardware notification cache. But actually I have fixed this in the previous version of Windows 11, but once you will update to the latest version, Microsoft will not give you the chance to take it out. Microsoft will chase us and will try to convince us that it's not a good idea to install it here. But actually, I am not planning to change the CPU of this computer. I will keep using it till Microsoft gives up or at least this computer will pay off the money that I have invested or I will just go back to Windows 10 or install Linux or Ubuntu. In case that you want to go back to Windows 10, which is still supported till 2025, I have a video in the description below and you can easily go back to Windows 10 on this PC. That's all that I wanted to share with you guys today. Please share your experience regarding this topic. And if you found LearnTech for the first time, do not forget to subscribe. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.